practical sequence over 2008 SSIS. This is Kalman Toth. This is a short demonstration of uh, SSIS 2008 import and export wizard. We are going to import an Excel spreadsheet. In this lesson you learn how to set up Excel as data source, how to configure the columns, how to set up destination table and database. Before we start up uh, the SSIS import export wizard, we have to pay attention to the different versions of uh, Excel. Let's go into a directory which uh, contains three most popular version of uh, Excel data. The first one has the extension of CSV and this is called comma separated value. This one can be opened in Notepad. It does not have extra formatting characters. The XLS version 97 through 2003 worksheet that does have uh, formatting characters and XLS X is um, the Excel 2007 version also formatted. Let's open uh, the 97 to 2003 worksheet. This is how the data looks in the spreadsheet. Account number, name, and then some numerical data. Order quantity, rejected quantity, and rejected percent. We are in Management Studio. We can start Import Export Wizard from here. This is one way of starting it. So let's do that. Right click on a database, Tasks, and we click on Import Data or on Export Data. It doesn't matter which one. We get to the same place. We get to the wizard. So this is the SSIS import and export wizard. We define the data source as Excel. And we need the path. We see that uh, only the 97-2003 version pops up or the Excel 2007. We select the older version. First row has column names check marked. We have to pick destination, and the destination is going to be on the Dellstar server TempDB because this is a demonstration. We don't want to save the table permanently. Next, copy data from one or more tables or views. Yes, we want to copy the entire spreadsheet table data. Otherwise, we could define a query to restrict the data. And this is going to be the new name uh, assigned at destination. Now, we don't want the dollar sign. This is a worksheet. Uh, convention, Excel worksheet convention, PO reject stats uh, would be fine. At this point we have a, a chance to edit mappings. First of all we can check mark drop and recreate destination table in case this is a regularly scheduled uh, upload we may want to do that so we drop the data from the previous day. We don't have identity insert so we don't have to enable it. We can edit the 
SQL which creates the table. For example, it uh, defines uh, account number as 255 uh, characters which uh, appears to be too long so we can just uh, make it smaller also name appears to be too long as well we can just make it uh, 55 order quantity can be integer same for rejected quantity A rejected person can be float. We can also make it into small money. That way we have uh, restricted the number of uh, decimal values after the decimal point. Okay. Press OK. Preview. So this is how the data looks. It um, appears to be the correct data. We can go to the next step. We can save it as an SSIS package uh, for uh, reuse again or just run it immediately or we can do both. Let's save it as an SSIS package as well and we call it PO reject upload. Next and we are at finish. This is the action list. So a package is going to run. We got an error which we have to check out and uh, the drop table failed because we don't have a table. We know that because we are running the package the first time so this error is okay and the copying uh, succeeded. So let's close it and go to TempDB. Refresh. And here is the new table. Select from it. Close Object Explorer. And um, we see the result set transferred into a new table in the TemDB database from the Excel spreadsheet source. If we look in uh, Object Explorer Integration Services uh, connection on stored packages, we can see that um, a new package uh, has been created and um, we can run this package uh, right from Object Explorer. All we have to do is uh, just to right click and uh, select run package. We can also schedule this package with a SQL Server agent for a scheduled execution. This is the end of the short demo.